everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to answer questions that you asked me on my Instagram. So Gia's gonna answer them too, because we're here at Should class. I we just took an exam and we got out early so we have two and a half hours to kill and this is one of the ways we're doing it actually i wanted to study but we're spending some time together what is your pet peeve what's your biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve is when people don't say thank you to bus drivers or people who hold the door for them i don't like reheated food <laughs> that's not a pet peeve that's like oh. um, i don't know i'm just i'm really just like all the other girls i hate when <laughs> i hate when people merge without their turn signal oh my biggest pet peeve is angie's driving because like when we're going up to a red light she'll like accelerate and then choose to stop so you're like it's like all right next one wait what's your biggest pet peeve that, about me probably that you don't answer your phone she didn't have my number in her phone until like a year ago. Like it always came up and said my number. She didn't have my name in her phone. Are you um, kidding me? <laughs> what's your favorite pastime? I take a lot of naps. I like cooking. Ooh, I like eating. <laughs> the food that she cooks. I feel like we're speed dating right now. <laughs> what was your favorite line in your piece last year? We had like a rap in our piece. And my favorite was when we went, he didn't write a letter and he didn't telephone us. Actually, my favorite line is probably when we were like, Macduff was someone's the one this room one time they ripped, what do you think about that? And you say, I support a woman's right to choose. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Coffee. I'm really passionate about this. Depends on the place. It depends on the brand, it really does. So my favorite, favorite ice cream flavor is Grater's Black Raspberry Chocolate Chip, but most people don't know what that is. I think the best ice cream I've ever had is from o Ozer's, Ozer's, and it's Mississippi Mud. Oh, from Ozer's you gotta get mint chocolate chip. Do you have time to practice sports with all the things you do in a day? No. Yeah, we do. We could be working out right yeah, now. Yeah, but we just choose we, to like, spend work that out time napping. napping. Work out a little bit, but not. We're not like in any sport right now. I mean, we're in dance. When we are in sports, we make it work though. That yeah. usually is our. When you're in a sport, that's like your main, your main gig. Someone said you're so gorgeous. Question mark. You're gonna cut that out, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, coolest thing you've ever done or been a part of. Um, the coolest thing I've ever done is probably travel with my school, one of the academies to Eastern Europe, and now. That has affected me in so many ways and inspired me. It has. It changed me as a person. Um, I mean, that changed my life. Mm -hmm. And I'd say also just generally speech and debate has been like a unique opportunity that is just like super fun and I've enjoyed. I used to work at weddings and Angie and I have done various jobs for people like um, our business. We've done some photography and videography. But I myself like have been a DJ's assistant and stuff and I think that it's just really cool to be a part of weddings because it's so important in people's lives and I just think that like each of those experiences have been really cool to be a part of. One of your biggest fears. My biggest Amir. fear. Haha. Um, one of my biggest fears is that someone's gonna come into my room when I'm sleeping. So when I go to sleep, before I go to sleep, I have to close every single door. See, I'm not afraid of any of that. My there was fears a time are either like super, super intense and like scary, like failure, or they're like a certain type of cheese. There was, like, <laughs> I don't know, like I'm scared. I'm scared of spiders. Like, kind oh, of snakes. Intensely. Snakes. Enjoy How do they move? They're all like, hey, first of all, I used to want to go to Australia. Nope. Never, never now. That's like the devil's spider Spider season, scorpion season, like dehydration. I'm scared of people who order chai. Biggest lesson you've learned this year. All right, the biggest <laughs> lesson that I've learned this year, or I guess throughout high school, is don't take life too seriously. When you're applying for a job or college or anything, that research paper is not gonna matter. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying like, don't spend your whole life stressing about it to the point where it actually affects like you or your mental health. I always say like, girl, I got this. Like future Angie, I trust her, I trust myself. She's figured it out. So I'm just gonna ride it out, go with the flow until future Angie figures it out. I don't know, what did I learn this year? Nothing. Yeah. So you've heard the whole thing where you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them, but I think that that also applies for like yourself. People will make assumptions about you and they'll put you into a certain category and whatnot, and maybe you start believing those things because other people are saying them, but I've learned that that same 
concept to not judge yourself the same way other people are judging you. Like, it applies to you as well, not just other people. Find out who you want to be known as and who you know yourself as because it's equally important as how other people perceive you and how other people know you. Have you chosen a piece yet? <laughs> Top three things on your bucket list. One would probably be to go back to Austria. Another one is to get a hundred dollar bill and give it to someone who is working one of those Salvation Army buckets during the holidays and put a hundred dollar bill in there. Oh, on my bucket list, I'd like to open a diner one day. My bucket list, super simple, in no particular order, is see the northern lights, backpack across Europe, and hike the Appalachian Trail, or at least part of it, with this amoeba. Crazy. How do you stay motivated? How do you stay <laughs> How do you Say it, don't laugh it. How do you... <laughs> How do you stay motivated to be productive every day? funny because crickets are actually chirping <laughs> not every day it's not an everyday grind like sometimes you burn yourself out um i think it's important to really just hold yourself accountable i know that a lot of people say that but sometimes you just gotta be like when you're in bed and you've hit the snooze button seven times you just gotta use like that last bit of willpower and throw yourself out of it i but like also, actually throw yourself out of bed yeah like People are saying that workism is like the new religion of America because people are working themselves too thin and they're like to the bone and they're quitting money with success and honestly that's not some way that I really want to lead the rest of my life so. But it is a way that we both recognize that we're kind of leading our lives now. So it's great to be productive and it's awesome to get things done and that's really important but also like if you have an unproductive day, that's okay. That's, it's okay. Sometimes. If you accidentally sleep in, your body probably needed that sleep. Like, to be productive, I think like procrastination is important. They're like, all right, first day of class, here's the paper that you need to do by the end of the quarter. We're not gonna, yeah, my summer work's not done. We just have a good attitude about it. And I think it's, you can be in the same like status as us with your summer work or your homework or your to-do list and be freaking out. Like, a little bit of stress is okay, and that's good. Some people at our state would be like scared out of their minds, but you just have to have a positive mindset and trust yourself. Yeah, trust that you're gonna get it done. Hold yourself to that degree, that your work is quality and you will get it done on time. Don't let it overcome you. Like, don't let the stress overcome you to the point where it's like, oh, it's too much, I just can't do it. Like, you can do it. You just gotta be like, okay, it's too much. How do I start breaking it down? Now is probably a good time to start. And I feel like people are always telling you, oh, you're a student before you're an athlete, or oh, your job comes before this, or whatever. But before anything, before any, any, anything, you are like a human being. Mm -hmm. Before you study, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to do those things. And there's memes where it's like me knowing all my responsibilities, but still like sitting in bed doing a face mask. And like, sometimes that's okay. Like sometimes that's what you need. Yeah, you can't be just grinding 100% of the time. You gotta be like, ready to grind 80 percent of the time <laughs> next question next question is what do you eat in a day well it depends on the day if gonna I'm be eating, honest we probably don't eat three meals a day yeah it's because we're like, so busy but i always try and eat breakfast we are breakfast people so whether that's cereal a banana bagels we eat bagels a lot yeah um and then for lunch it's usually we're usually at school or out on the town or like whatever. Like, I usually have a protein bar. Yeah, I usually have a protein bar. And all this time we're drinking like tons of water or as much as we can. Um, and then for dinner, sometimes I cook dinner. For when us. she cooks dinner, it's a good night. Like we <laughs> eat dinner. But if we're working um, on a weeknight, we get something at we, Starbucks. Yeah, because we usually close. And it's then... not the best thing for us, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Free food, man. Mm -hmm. What activity of yours is your favorite? People aren't gonna believe me, but I I have ones that I like, but I don't have one that's your favorite. Yeah, I really love Jags. It's, it's something that I really am putting like a lot of my energy into. Um, JSA is just as great though. Like they are both amazing. They both impacted my life a lot. I think that for me, it's like whatever's like the busiest at the moment. Like if we're like in, prime time speech and debate season I'm like oh I gotta grind like I want to be a hundred percent speech and de debate person you know when we're doing something big for Jags I just feel like 
you're always reminded of all the reasons you love it, you know, when it's at the forefront of your priority. Or when I meet someone who speaks for JSA or I have this dance that I'm really proud of. All right, getting to the end. Which is better, Shrek 1 or Shrek 2? Shrek 1, obviously. What's the best place to get your brows done in your area? Oh my God, my hand's glowing. Your hand is glowing. It's a golden place to get your brows, you know, like separate. Saddest Disney death, we didn't answer that one. I definitely know mine 100%. It's not a death, but if you want to see me crying, like bawling my eyes out, dude, can you guess what it is? What story? No. Mama Coco doesn't die, but when she's like on her last limbs, and then he's like, remember me. And then she starts like tapping her foot or something. <laughs> that is emotional for me. I know about the saddest Disney death, but my favorite Disney movie is Hercules, which I feel like is neglected and overlooked. That's kind of sad. It's kind of sad when he has to give up his um, like immortality and like godliness and stuff. <laughs> Struggles. All right. Where do you like to shop at? We really don't go shopping a lot. Like if we have to get stuff that, you know, you want to be nice, then we go to the mall. Pants, There's like shirts. specific things that Angie and I spend money on. But we love thrift shopping. Yeah. Thrift shopping is like, that's what we do. Thank you guys for watching. That was a video asking questions to each other that nobody asked us to do. Nobody asked us to make this video, but we did. Hey, catch you on the flippity flop. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Bye.